welcome to my channel. I decided to start a YouTube channel because I've been watching YouTube for literally years. And um, recently, as of last year, I started doing project pans. Um, I found, I can't remember who was doing it, but I found a ton of people um, that I was already kind of following do project pans and I was always like, what's that? Oh, what is that? I need to figure this out. Um, and essentially it's kind of cool cause like <clears throat> you like focus on like makeup you want to use up and you get like good usage out of it. And considering my collection is like, it's, it's fairly large. Um, this gives me a chance to focus on some products and to really truly get some good solid use or and or use up um, the products that I already have and I don't have to focus on like what new is coming out and and all that because I already have way too much so yeah I, I really liked it and I decided I wanted to do it um, I kind of did a semi project pan last year by myself um, this year I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel and kind of going along and doing like get ready with me's and like like fun videos like that but also do project pan videos of my own doing just kind of on my own um i didn't like come up with these ideas these were definitely like inspired and slash like like used from other people that are great at project planning and i watch like all of the good project planners um they really inspired me to start like just getting good use of my makeup instead of focusing on like what news coming out I kind of can focus on my own stuff so without further ado without all this rambling I'm gonna get into my project pan for 2019 um to start I decided to kind of do a rolling project pan roulette um I know there's two youtubers like her name's Lexi and the other one's Re her name's Rebecca. Um, they did a project pan roulette or they're doing a project pan roulette with their own um, prompts. And I wanted to get on that, but there was a few prompts that they picked that I was like, I don't have any of those or I don't want to use up that. Cause I just, I don't know, like my collection was a little bit different from the prompts that they had. So, cause like, I don't want to use it hair care cause I don't have that much hair care and like, like I don't have that many nail polishes so like I'll have a few nail polishes that I'll like want to use up but like I don't have an excessive amount of nail polishes so anyways <laughs> um without rambling on and also I kind of cheated and I started this project um uh in November of last year because I knew that I was gonna get pro like pick products that were gonna be like take a little bit longer than normal and I was really excited about this I was like yeah I want to use up some products I want to start my own project pan so I went ahead and I just started it November but it's technically still my 2019 project pan because I'm trying to finish up 50 products in the year of 2019 so my first round I started I said in November um I've already finished up four products from the beginning um some of them were giving me products and some of them i had been actually working on it i was kind of shocked that i like i thought they were gonna take longer than they actually did um my first round i picked um your favorite foundation and that i picked number seven foundation it was like the naturally matte in the shade calico totally finished that up i mixed that one with another foundation that i put in the project for a product with a pump and that was my l'oreal um, True Match Lumi foundation. I don't even remember the shade, but I picked those, like, I picked those, but I mixed those two together and I used it and I used it up and I was completely and utterly shocked when I finished them because I was like, I thought we were going to take longer, but thanks. Goodbye. Because it was like, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi was one of my oldest foundations and the other one was too matte to use, so I, and it was too light, so I kind of mixed them together to get my, like, perfect shade and, like, perfect formula. You know what I'm saying? foundation cocktail you know what I'm saying so anyway finish those um another one that I finished in the first round um was my a product in a squeeze bottle and that was my um it cosmetics bye bye under eye it was like a little like mini travel sized pump or not pump what am I saying it's in a squeeze bottle 
um, <laughs> a squeeze bottle. Um, it was like a concealer or whatever. I love that thing. So I'm probably going to, when I finish all the concealers I have in my stash, I'll probably go out and buy that one because that one was really good. Um, but I finished that one surprisingly. I finished that one at, at like a few weeks ago, like in January. Um, and I'm already, just a sidebar, I'm already on my third round of picking products um, since I started in November. So it would technically, since like once a month until July, I'll be picking products just so I'll have plenty of time to just finish them out and just knock them out. Um, it's kind of a weird project, but this is just, this is how I'm doing it. So, um, what was I saying? Oh. You know, anyway, so three rounds. I, I wanted to start a YouTube channel this year, but I was kind of chickening out, so I finally decided to do it. But that's why I'm kind of like, I'm already started, and then now, but I'm going to start doing like monthly updates with all my progress, and then with a new round to pick out new products until I go through all of them, and then I'll probably do another project pan to go through the end of the year, because I really liked project pan, so look out for that. But <clears throat> anyway. So for my first round, the products that I'm still working on are um, Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee. Now this is an eyeshadow that I kind of franken shadowed with Makeup Geeks Peach Smoothie. I had like both of them left. Mainly Creme Brulee was left. I had a little bit of Peach Smoothie, but I went ahead and just put them together. And I made a franken shadow, and this is kind of what I have left. Um, not too much left. Again, I added this in November, and I've put like some hurt on this eyeshadow so when this one's done i'll kind of consider it too because it's you know there's it's still two eyeshadows so i have that one and then that one sorry i'm not even telling you all the prompt like what am i doing that one was for um your favorite eyeshadow it's my favorite eyeshadow i'll miss it when it's gone but i have plenty of transition shades so i won't be I won't be doing without that's for sure um okay so for the next prompt for the first round i picked a cruelty free product and that one is my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer um this one again i um had used a ton of and it was like huge pan but i couldn't really use my like dip my brush in there i have this like fluffy brush that i use couldn't swirl it in so i went ahead and repressed it and this is what I have left. Um, I have, I mean, I have a quite a lot left, but it's still not a lot. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I know this one will probably take a little bit. That's kind of why I picked it in the first round because I knew that this one was going to take a while. So we'll see. I really would like to finish this one for sure. So we'll see how that goes um the next product i picked for or sorry the last product that i picked for the first round um was makeup geeks eyeshadow and cocoa bear for the prompt your current favorite eyeshadow and i love this eyeshadow i'm gonna be so sad when it's gone y'all don't look at my nail polish i don't have time to paint them right now i have a toddler at home who just got his tonsils out like on tuesday and he's watching cartoons and i like was like, I don't have time to paint my nail I mean, I paint my nails, like I just don't, okay? So don't judge me, I'll paint them later, they'll look pretty. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have quite the dip in this eyeshadow. I just wanna hit pan on this eyeshadow um, because like it would take me forever if I had to finish this whole thing up. This would probably take me two years to finish up the entire thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, just hit pan. That's all I want to do for that one. So anyway, so that was the first round. The second round I picked in mid-December. That one I picked for the a product you regret buying. I picked the Nivea Shave Balm and that's where I started back in like September. Um, I've had this bottle forever and I bought it because of Nikki Tutorials and I'm just tired of using it. I want to use another primer that's an actual primer, not just men shave balm. So um, I've put it up to the to the light. Sorry, it's like doing a weird thing, but it's about right there. So we'll see how long this one takes. This one was, I mean, I've used it quite a bit. It wasn't like a gimme product. Like this one's probably gonna take me another into the next round. We'll we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost gone, but kind of not really. 
I need to get it out of my collection is really what it is. Um, the well, Another product, so I use it for, another product that I used up entirely from the prompt. Sorry, I keep sniffling. It's really cold outside. I don't know if I already said that or not, but it's freezing. Um, your favorite face product, and that was a Sephora face powder. It was like a mineralized powder. Um, that one's not cruelty free, so I went ahead and put that one in the collection, or put it in the project as well. Um, finished that one up. Didn't expect to finish it up, but I did. You know, congratulations to me <laughs> for finishing up a pressed face powder that was mineralized. Um, anyways, so that one's done. Um, the next one, why am I holding? Why, I just gave away one of the things. I, I, it's not, that's my third round, Hillary. Get it together. <laughs> um, so for the prompt, this is my one that I'm working on as well. Um, for a lip balm, I picked the Burt's Bees lip balm um, in ultra conditioning. This one, I have so much left over, but there it is. My phone's not focusing. It's fine. That's how much I've left. I have it like rolled up all the way. I put it in my cabinet with all my other skincare. So this one should get done pretty soon. Not, not soon, not like next month or anything. I don't go through lip balms that fast, but you know, a few months, give or take, probably give. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. Um, the next one that I picked for the prompt, an old favorite, um, was from a Too Faced Natural Eyes palette in the tin. It's like probably not one of my first palettes, but like an old, like an old palette that I had a long time ago that I depotted. Um, and I wanted to use Honey Pot. And it's like one of my favorite shadows from that that I definitely wanted to keep intact. I've kind of, I mean, I've put a huge dent into it. I can't really, I mean, I have my arm all wonky. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, there's not a huge dip, but there's a dip in there and I've used a significant amount. So I kind of just want to hit pan on that just to get some use out of it before it goes bad. It's a really nice, pretty gold eyeshadow. So I would like to, you know, get some more use out of it. It's fairly neutral. I can wear it every day. So, and then, um, another one I picked for the second round was a colorful eye product. And that one is probably, it's probably my oldest eyeshadow eyeshadows because I have a few from this one but it was from the Urban Decay like eyeshadow box thing like their old eyeshadow normally in their old stuff and that's this light purple eyeshadow this one I have significant dippage on and I don't remember the shade name couldn't tell ya um because I was going to and I forgot what else is new um, but yeah, so I just want to hit pan on this one. Um, I am pretty dang close to hitting pan on it. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see. Um, and then for the next prompt for the second round, I picked a cream product and that one is from be a bombshell and submissive it's their like eye base i got in an ipsy bag a long time ago um i've made significant progress i've been using this since i got it and just started hammering it down i have a really hooded eyelids and so any shimmery eyeshadow i put on my lids um will kind of just fluff off if i don't put a base down like i have to wear a base under eye like any any shimmery eyeshadow or just it won't stay so it's been kind of nice to have this because this one's kind of neutral and you can't really tell um, underneath the shadow, but that's how much I have left. I'm so freaking close. So close. So this one probably be a few more months, but we'll see how this progress goes. Um, okay, so that was the end of the second round. The third round I picked today. Um, so yeah, I <laughs> picked picked it today um I got the first prompt was your oldest lip product and this one is a Revlon bullet lipstick that I got way too long ago but it's still really good it's still really creamy doesn't smell bad I like the color it's in the color mauvey night it's so pretty but it's like I need to use it and like I don't like to make things go to waste I'm like I want to use it get my like 
use out of it, you know? So I got that one. Um, next prompt I picked was a product in loose form. This one was so staying at heart because I don't have a lot of loose form products that I like want to like pan. So I had to like suck it up and <laughs> pick this powder foundation that I haven't used in a really long time. Um, literally in months. I haven't used this since like summer. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't have a lot, whole lot left of it. It looks like it does, but I have that much left. Um, I'm just going to force myself to use it and see how long it takes. And if I hate it, I mean, I'm going to like, I'll like declutter it and find something else to put in that same place. That's kind of the way I'm seeing it. Like if I declutter it, I'm going to pick another product to put in its place and then I'll just use that prompt later. Um, I just, for right now, I kind of want to go through my collection and see what I like and I don't like. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. Um, <laughs> for the next prompt, I picked a drugstore makeup product. That one is the L'Oreal foundation that I showed y'all earlier. So, hi. Um, this one's kind of a gimme product because I just, like, I have so many drugstore found, like, so many drugstore items in my collection that I was like, one I'm already working on while it's winter time, let's get this puppy over with. It's one of my older foundations, so, like, I don't know. Get it over with. I mean, it's about, like, right there when I put it into the light. You can't, I mean, you can't really tell, but, yeah, it's about right there. So, we'll see how long this takes. Uh... I, pro I mean, I go through a lot of foundations, so this will probably take about a month or two, maybe less. I just really want to get out of my collection because it's getting older and, you know. Um, speaking of old, this next product that I picked for the prompt, a product you haven't used in a while, is literally a product I have not used in a while. Um, it's the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Partridge. It's this. It's like blue-brown pigment type. I love this product. I hate ColourPop eyeshadows, but I like this specific eyeshadow. I decluttered all the rest of them. I had like a whole pack and I like hated every single one of them. I like got rid of them. Some of them I let my kids use as like fun little makeup. So, you know, at least they're getting some life. But the other ones I threw in the trash because they expired so quickly. This one's the only one that still had life that I still liked. So I, this is the only one I have and I'm never buying another. ColourPop Super Shock, Super Shock Shadow because I like their pressed eyeshadows. I hate, I hate these. I hate them. I don't know why they exist. I mean, I know why they exist, but you know what I mean. So, I just want to hit pan. I don't want to finish it because it would take so dang long and I just want to get some use out of this. I just want to use it. If that's it, I just want to use it. Get some use. Hit, maybe hit a pan. We'll see. We'll see. Um... <laughs> And then the last two products that I picked, one was from the prompt, a product someone recommended to you, which is the Essence Lash Princess. And this one was kind of another gimme product because it's the only mascara I have in my collection. And I knew that I would probably like do the thing where I'm like, oh, like I kind of don't want to use that and like make an excuse and buy another one. So I was like, I'll go ahead and just throw it in the project that way I have to use it up before I buy another one because I want to get in the habit of doing that with certain products like mascara because mascaras go bad so quickly so uh, my mom and a bunch of other people have told me to buy this mascara and it's really cheap so I was like why not so I bought it um, I was just using it with false eyelashes to kind of like put them together like when they're on my eyelashes to make sure they kind of melt together um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use it with or without falsies just because I don't have anything else and I'm not gonna go out and buy a mascara if I don't have to so this is in the project I just opened I didn't just open it but I just started using it like not that long ago like a month or two ago uh well I've used it like three times within the past like month so we'll see we'll see Pretty much after three months, if this puppy still has some life in it, I'm gonna go ahead and just like toss it and call it a day. Cause I got some use out of it. And then that's when you're supposed to throw it away, right? So 
Last product of the third round is going to be the prompt, a product you would recommend to anyone. And that one, okay, this one's kind of also, a few of these are giving me products, okay? So don't judge me, okay? Um, but it's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Volumizing Brow Mascara. This thing is awesome, but it's not cruelty free, so I can't repurchase it. I'm going cruelty free. Um, I started keeping track of my makeup to kind of get rid of my cruelty food products in my collection because I just don't jive with that anymore. Um, so yeah, um, it's a really great brow like mascara. I use it all the time. It was going really dry um, about a month ago and I pulled the stopper out and there was like half of the product still left in there. So I was like, it's fine. We'll just keep going. Uh, so we'll see how long this takes. It's tiny. Like, I don't even know how much is in here, but it's tiny and it had so much product left in here that I totally would have been like, hmm, whatever, throw it away um, before I started doing it. Sorry, 0.1 fluid ounces. It's tiny and I've been using this for months, months. I have bushy eyebrows, very thick bushy eyebrows that I just like a tinted, like fluffy brow mascara to just put it in there and call it a day. I don't need a brow pencil. I like them, but I prefer this because it's just quick and easy and just we're done. I hate brows, so this is just a really quick way to get my brows in and just get them done and get them over with. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, we'll see how this project goes. I'd like to update monthly um, just to kind of see where my progress is and to kind of share it with you guys because I love um, project panning um, and I love to see other people's progress and I want to you know see everyone else's progress I'm super stoked about doing this and starting this channel um, I'm gonna do a few other things like get ready, ready with me's and um, I don't know maybe some product reviews we'll see but I love makeup and I you know would love to be a part of the project panning community um, I want to do a few other projects at the end of the year, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have. Subscribe if you'd like to, you know, hang out. Whatevs, I'm here. I'll be back in a few weeks. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!